Rowley Jefferson's Awesome Friendly Spooky Stories by Jeff Kinney just got the book today. And I am back with another video with a quick first look at the book and the chapter one of the book. So hang on there. Hi friends, welcome to my channel Amazing World of Archie. In this video I'm going to share a quick first look at the book Awesome Friendly Spooky Stories, the third book of the Rowley Jefferson's Awesome Friendly Kids series. Before we begin, in case you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Also, don't miss the video on the Diary of a Wimpy Kid book 16. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now let's get on with the book Rally Jefferson's Awesome Friendly Spooky Stories. You must have already seen the cover of the book which was released earlier this year. Now let's take a look inside the cover. Rally Jefferson's Awesome Friendly Spooky Stories by Jeff Kinney Spooky Stories The Changing The Prankster Ghost Friend The Biter The Human Head The Scanner The Seller The nap. The stain. A mummy. The science project. The medicine cabinet. The Invasion The Demon Rita, beware! Boo! Did that scare you? If it did, maybe you should put this book down and pick something else that's a little less scary. There's some good books about unicorns and puppies and other happy things that you can read until you're ready for a book like this. But if you like stories about skeletons and zombies and human heads, then crawl under the covers and turn the page. And if you get too scared, then you can always sleep in your parents' bed. But please don't tell them the reason you got spooked, because I really don't want them to be mad at me. I warned you. The Changing There once was a boy named Rowan, and Rowan was a happy child. He had two parents who loved him very much, and he had lots of toys to play with. Sometimes Rowan would bring his toys to school and play them at recess, but he stopped doing that after he got bullied by some jerks. Chick, grow up, you baby! That made Rowan sad because he thought playing with toys was the best thing about being a kid. But Rowan's classmates didn't feel the same way, and they were always trying to act older than they really were. One day when Rowan was in class, he felt a strange, tickling sensation under his armpit. He didn't know what it was, so he asked his teacher 
Mrs. Pennington, if he could please be excused to use the restroom. When Ron got to the restroom, he took off his shirt and was shocked to see a single hair growing from the centre of his armpit. Ron didn't know what to do, so he put his shirt back on and returned to class. And when he sat down, he felt like everyone in the classroom could tell something different about him, even Mrs. Pennington. When the final bell rang. Rowan ran all the way home. He knew his mother kept some tweezers in the bathroom, and he couldn't wait to pull, use them to pull out that hair. But when Rowan took his shirt off, he could see it was too late for tweezers. Suddenly, hair started sprouting all over Rowan's body, and before long, he was practically covered in it. By now, Rowan was totally panicking. He went through his parents' bathroom cabinet to see if there was anything that might help, and he found something he thought would do the trick: hair remover. But there's a reason kids shouldn't go poking around in their parents' bathroom cabinets, because two seconds after Rowan opened the bottle, he passed out from the fumes. Faint. When Rowan woke up, he was in his bed. At first, he thought maybe the whole thing with the hair was just a bad dream, but one look at his arm told him it wasn't. Rowan. Rowan's parents walked into his room and is afraid they're gonna be mad at him for opening that bottle of hair remover without asking. But they didn't look angry at all. In fact, they seemed kind of happy. Ron's parents said they'd been waiting for this day for years, and it was time for them to have their talk. Ron thought they'd already had the talk when his parents told them how babies were made, but they said this one was a totally different talk. His parents said sometimes when a child turns a certain age, their body starts to go through a changing. And that made Rowan sad, as he liked himself just the way he was. By now, Rowan thought he knew where this was heading, so he asked the question that had been on his mind all day: "Am I becoming a man?" Well, that made Rowan's parents laugh and laugh, and Rowan felt embarrassed as it took them a long time to stop laughing. Ha 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 ha! After Ron's dad wiped the tears from his eyes, he said Rowan was still a boy, but he was a different kind of boy. And when Ron asked what he meant by that, his dad gave him some bad news: "You're a werewolf, son." This was definitely not what Rowan wanted to hear. But when Ron's mom saw the worried look on his son's face, She said this was a day to celebrate. Rowan's parents told him he came from a long line of werewolves, and suddenly the pictures on the staircase wall made a lot more sense to Rowan. Then Rowan's parents gave him some more bad news. They said they were both werewolves too. Rowan started remembering clues growing up. That should have told him his parents were werewolves, but he guessed deep down he didn't want to admit the truth. Aru! Then Rowan started crying. He said he just wanted to be a regular kid and have a normal life, but his parents said a werewolf could live a perfectly normal life as long as they kept on top of the grooming and hid. Who they really were from the rest of the world. Ryan didn't want to hide who he was, though. He had always been taught to be yourself, and that's what he planned to do. But Ryan's parents told him there are ignorant people in the world who don't like anyone who's different. And Ryan knew exactly the type of people his parents were talking about. Then Ryan asked his parents a question. He really wasn't sure. He was ready to hear the answer to.
Pretend werewolves eat people? Ron's parents looked a little uncomfortable and said that is a subject for another talk later on. But Ron had a feeling he knew the answer to his question, so the next day he brought his toys with him to recess, and this time nobody dared to mess with him. Ron's example inspired his parents to stop hiding who they were to, and from that day on, Rowan and his family lived as their true selves, and everyone else just had to deal with it. Aru! That's all for this time, friends. Can't wait to finish reading this book. Get your copy of the book, Awesome Friendly Spooky Stories by Jeff Kinney, as soon as you can, and stay tuned to my channel, Amazing World of Archie, for more updates. Bye for now.